What do you get for the artist that has everything already? Well, I'm hoping today by sharing my wish list with you, because I have a lot of art supplies already, that it might give you some ideas for that artist in your life. The art supply goodies that I'm showing you today are actually on my wish list. So these are things that I actually am wishing for. So I'm excited to share those with you. Hopefully you'll get some great ideas. I also have a bunch of really cool gift ideas that I'll be sharing with you in the next video. So make sure you hit subscribe and all notifications so that you know the moment that video comes out, that'll be Tuesday, by the way. All right, let's get started. The first thing on my wish list is the Derwent pencil sharpener. I have a lot of pencil sharpeners because I get them in subscription boxes. I've received them for gifts in the past and I still have a hard time sharpening my colored pencils, especially the Prismacolors. You guys know how that goes. Anyway, I've heard great things about this Derwent pencil sharpener. It does not break the core of the pencil and you get a nice sharp point every time and it's pretty flawless. So fingers crossed, we'll see if I receive it or not. Someday I might buy it for myself if I don't get it for Christmas this year, but I have so many sharpeners. It's one of those things like, I'll put it on my wish list, but do I really, really need it? I don't know, but I would really like to have it. The next thing on the list is the Faber Castell portable water cup. What is it called? Click and go artist water cup. And I actually want two of these. So currently when I travel, I just take, I have these really small Tupperwares. I should have gotten them out here. And sometimes I take those or sometimes I just use whatever's laying around wherever I'm going, maybe a disposable cup or something like that. And the ones I use at home are kind of big, so I don't want to take those with me when I travel. So I thought this Faber-Castell thing would be really nice because it collapses down to not flat, but pretty flat. So it would go in your luggage really, really easily. And did I tell you already that I want two of them because I like to have my clean water well and my dirty water well. And my only complaint with these is I wish that they were clear because right now they just come in a dark green color. At least that's my experience so far. So let me double check, make sure that's true. Hold that thought. One of the big things on my wish list is the Sennelier Artist Tube Set, and it comes in a metal tin, so you'll have a palette all ready to go if you want to dry some out. Now this tube set does not come with half pans or full pans, but I do have some of those coming, so if I wanted to dry some of this paint out, I could easily do that and stick them in this palette, but I think it'd be kind of fun to try and use some paint right from the tubes. It's been several years since I've done that like religiously, so I think that would be really fun. Regardless, I will probably dry some out because I do want to make a portable travel palette out of that. Anyway, this comes with 12 colors and it looks like a lot of fun. Sennelier is a brand I don't currently own and I would be really excited to try out another artist grade watercolor paint and have that in my collection. So that's something on my wish list. Next is this B Paper Company 100% cotton roll. This is 36 inches by five yards. And I thought this would be really nice because I could cut whatever size paper I wanted and do some really big paintings or a bunch of small paintings. Anyway, it seems like it's pretty economical price-wise when you compare it to blocks and stuff, especially for 100% cotton paper. And I suspect that it probably is a little bit of a pain in the butt to work with. And it might be hard to keep it safe, but I still want it. Next on the list, I have a couple of hockey brushes on my wish list. They're not currently available though, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. These are the hockey brushes that I currently have. So this one, you've seen me use this one a couple of times and it's really soft, so I'm not sure. I mean, I know hockey brushes are supposed to be really soft, but I'm not sure that this is quite what I'm looking for. Anyway, it's a super cheap one, but I use it, it works. I just thought these higher quality ones might be really nice to try out. I have one on my wish list that's between these two sizes and then one that's about this size that would hopefully be slightly better quality. I don't know. I've heard good things about them. All right, the next thing on my wish list is this Strathmore 500 series watercolor journal. Now this is something that you would take traveling with you because it's, well, it's a journal. <laughs> that's pretty obvious. Anyway, this is five and a half by eight inches, basically the same size as this one that I've used in previous videos. You've seen me paint in that. Okay, so it's a good size. I like it for traveling. And the only reason I have this Strathmore on my list is because I don't have paper by Strathmore that is 100% cotton, and this one is. And so I thought it would be really fun to try out. I have a couple of other Strathmore items on my list, a six by eight and an eight by 10, 12 sheet watercolor block. 
So these are also 100% cotton. I guess their 500 series just is 100% cotton. I use Arches watercolor block the most. That's my preferred paper. I have been trying out some B paper and that one's pretty good. And it would be fun to have Strathmore's watercolor block as well to see if I like it. So it can't hurt to have it on the list. It seems like a really reasonable price, so why not? Next thing on the list, I'm really excited about this one. It's been on my list for, uh, I guess just one year. Next thing on the list is the Paul Rubens watercolor paper block. And they also have journals, which are really, really cool. But anyway, this is the hot press one. I'm having a hard time on Amazon finding anything Paul Rubens cold press, except for something really cool coming out in Tuesday's video. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully it's what I'm expecting. Anyway, my wish list: Paul Rubens watercolor block. This is hot pressed, which I don't usually work on, but it's really good for colored pencil. And sometimes I work on colored pencil, but I also thought, I can try my watercolors on hot press because it will expand my horizons. So there we have that. I have it in block form in my wish list, but I may add the journal form in there as well. We'll see. Next thing on my list is the Weatherly Guide to Drawing Animals. <laughs> I haven't actually looked at this book in a long time. It was added back in May of 19 to my wish list, but I've kept it there because I really thought that I could get some use out of it. And I did try and find it at the library one time and I was having no luck. So I went ahead and put it on my Amazon wish list. I haven't looked again on the library website, but I suspect it's not there. Regardless, I really love animals and I want to be able to draw them better. And I thought this little instruction booklet, it's not little exactly, but I thought this instruction booklet would be helpful and something that I could like put out in front of me, coffee table, table. I wouldn't have to have my computer with me or anything and work on. So I thought that would be really fun. All right, last but not least, and very awesome <laughs> is the Escoda Versatile 1548 series watercolor travel brush set. <laughs> so I see Anne Bucarelli, Bucarelli, <laughs> I am probably butchering her name, so sorry. Anyway, B-U-C-C-A-R-E-L-L-I. So Anne with that last name <laughs> is an amazing artist and she has finally come onto YouTube and put out some amazing videos. And so she has reviewed this set. She loves it. I think it's this set. Yes, it is. And she has reviewed the other two sets that Escoda puts out as well. But I thought that this set is probably the one that I would use the most because I really like round brushes and I would love to have ones that are tiny and or well, tiny. They, they fold up into a, a short size. You can put them anywhere and they're really high quality. All right, that was last but not least for the Amazon wish list, but I do have a few other things that I would like to really try that are not available on Amazon. I released that video that did really well about the Roman small paints. So these are the only five colors that I was using with those two paintings. And I'll link that below. Everything will be linked in the description box below so you can see that. Anyway, I loved working with this paint. Oh, I don't know. It was such a good feeling. It's so soft. It rewets so easily. The colors, I mean, look at these colors. They're so vibrant. And oops, I have my camera setting on not, uh, not vivid, so they don't show up as vibrant on your screen right now as they do in real life because otherwise my skin looks really yellow. I want more Roman small paints is the point of that. And you can get them at Jackson's Art Supply and even though it's the end of, or getting close to the end of November right now, it doesn't really matter because they ship really fast. So if you order now or in the next week or so, I would definitely think you'd have them here by Christmas because I got my order within like a week. It was amazing considering they're shipping from so far away. So, well, I assume they are anyway. The label looked like it was from out of country. One last thing too is I would kind of like to try the Renaissance paint. Rembrandt, I meant Rembrandt paint. Oh, I just saw a video this morning about the Renaissance paint and so I got them all confused, but it's Rembrandt. I've heard good things about it. I don't, oh, I do not need more paint. I do not need more paint, but I love paint. So I would like to try the Renaissance paint. So I may stick like a basic primary set, set of six or so on my wish list there. And I think you can get those at Jackson's as well. I assume you can, I have, I'll have to look. Um, you'll actually already know because I'll have it on the screen already. <laughs> anyway, so you can get those paints here. And like I said, everything will be linked below. P.S because it occurred to me that if you are looking for a gift for an artist, somebody that is well-established, that has a lot of art supplies, I would caution against getting anything that you do not know the quality of. 
and I know some people may disagree with this, but if you have a friend that has been doing art for a long time and they're serious about it, they're going to want high quality art supplies. So anything high quality, highest quality is going to work, but stay away from student grade things, trendy things. I think you could be at risk with those kinds of choices. So now when I say trendy, I don't mean things that are brand new that no one really knows about because those things are fun for artists. So if you find something like that, go for it. But otherwise stick to high quality supplies and you can't go wrong. Okay, so that's what's on my wish list. I'd be really curious to know what's on your wish list. Also remember that video coming out after this one will have a whole slew of art supplies that I think would make awesome gifts for people. Not necessarily things on my wish list, although one thing coming up I'm super excited, well two things coming I'm super excited about at least. But anyway, that's gonna be on Tuesday's video because they haven't shown up yet, all that stuff, all those goodies. Oh, should not be buying stuff before Christmas, but I'm gonna keep some of it for giveaways for you guys when we hit a thousand subscribers. So let's make that happen. Tell your friends, tell your family, hit subscribe below if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys. I will share with you my wish list. Okay, so stay tuned. Intro music plays, which I really need to change. What else? So, that is all wrong. I mean, it's all right, but it's all. <sighs> the art supply goodies I'm going to show with you, show with you. <laughs> the art supply goodies that I'm going to show you today are actually on my wish list. They're, they're actually in my wish list. Like, this is for real, okay? For true. The first thing on my wish list is the, what is it called? Derwent Super Point Manual Helical Pencil Sharpener. Let me try that again. <laughs> the first thing on my wish list is the Derwent. The first thing on my wish list is the Derwent Mechanical Pencil. Mechanical? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Someone help me. All right. What? Oh, I was like, that's black and white. No, I just have slow internet. I want, I want, I want. 500 series water cup. Hmm. Plus, 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 um, uh oh, I forgot her name. Ah, Anne. Okay, let me start over. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm not used to talking this much. I just saw a video this morning of the. Pardon me. <laughs> okay, so that's what's on my wish list. I'm be. Um, now, when I say trendy, I don't mean something that's brand new that no one really knows anything about because those things are fun for art. art. <laughs>